Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be stuffing our cash envelopes for week four of November. And today's video is gonna be short and sweet um, because we really only have one category that we're filling for this week. And the same is gonna be true for next week as well. So what I thought I would actually do during these videos, these this one and the next cash envelope video is show you guys some alternative cash envelope systems. If you know, you're know you interested in seeing other ways that you can incorporate cash envelopes into your financial routine, <laughs> I don't know, uh, financial lifestyle. But anyway, so as you know, I am currently using a Savvy Sense wallet. I really like these wallets. They're very, very well made. I've got it linked below for you guys if you want to check them out. Um, but I do know they've got a Cyber Monday sale going on. I think they're 15% off right now. So definitely, you know, check that out if this is something that you're interested in getting. Um, but otherwise, they're really not uh, that expensive at all. I think they're like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. But they hold up beautifully and they work really well. So um, anyways, so let's go ahead and just stuff our cash envelopes first. And then I'll show you guys my first alternative cash envelope system that you can use. And then I'll show you one more next week as well. So groceries, we are sticking to our $80 a week grocery budget. Um, and that is so we can pay off our credit card, which I'm going to actually be doing Monday, but we still want to stick to our $80 uh, grocery budget on a weekly basis because we're sort of taking from our mortgage payment. I explained all this in my previous video for the week four budget plan, so definitely check that out um, if you want to hear the reasoning for it. But yeah, so we've got 20, 40, 60, and $80 going into grocery. And I've got my little tabs here. Um, these are, they keep peeling up and it's driving me a little nuts. So um, if anyone's out there that might know a remedy for that, please let me know because I mean, it's not that big of a deal. They're staying on. It just like the corners peel up a little bit and it just kind of drives me a little bonkers. So yeah, so grocery is the only category that's getting filled and that $80 is just going to go right here and I will be sharing my grocery haul with you guys in a couple days so you can kind of see, you know, how we're able to stick to that budget and everything. And I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. I have been considering separating my meal plan video from my grocery haul video to show you guys kind of the process of meal planning and the way that I put together my grocery list and the way I look at our pantry, fridge, and freezer um, to kind of give an, get an inventory of what we have and everything like that. So let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in and maybe I'll switch things up a little bit. So, um, okay. So the first, our cash envelopes are stuffed. So that was quick and easy, right? So good to go there. And then the, the alternative cash envelope system that I'm going to show you guys today is just a simple like file folder. So I got this at Target and um, it's just a five star, you know, mead file folder. You can get these even cheaper at the Dollar Tree, I believe. I just like this brand because it holds up really well. I mean, I've had this thing for over a year and it looks like it's brand new. So um, inside here, you get a ton of different tabs. Um, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six tabs, but they're really, really wide as you can see. So, you know, you could put like sinking funds in here, if that's something that you are comfortable doing. Um, you know, if you're someone like that doesn't want to carry all of your cash on you, I don't carry all of my cash on me, but um, there was a time when I was taking out cash on a monthly basis and I'd want to, you know, just take out the grocery money I needed for the week and then leave the rest of the cash like in here because if I have it all on me, I will spend it and I know that about myself, so I'll like go over budget. So to kind of like ration it out, I would just split it up. I would like use paper clips to split up um, each week for grocery. Like say I took out $500 for the month and there were four weeks in the month, I would split up like $125 um, and use four paper clips 
and, and everything, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. Um, same thing for family fun. Like if we take out like, you know, $20, $30 a week, it, we would split that up instead of putting the whole amount in the wallet and then um, just put like what's remaining in here. So this is just the, an alternative that you guys can use. Um, it's really nice. Um, it's something that I'm considering using for some of our sinking funds, like um, just some of the ones that like we don't, um, that we would use more frequently that we don't want like building in our savings account and stuff like that. So we'll see, but um, yeah, so that's the first alternative that I wanted to show you guys. And, um, and then I'll show you one more. Okay, the next one I wanted to show you is the Bella Taylor wallet. Now, unfortunately, from what I have seen on Amazon, I, I don't know if they're still making this um, wallet. I know the Bella Taylor brand is still around, but I've seen like their wallets have been sold out now for quite a while and they have not restocked them yet. So I don't know if that's something that they're going to do eventually. I hope they do because these wallets are seriously perfect for cash envelope systems. But basically, in this part of the wallet, you have a couple spots for IDs. You even have an extra pocket down here that you could use for, I don't know, whatever you wanted, some stamps or whatever you wanted to carry. Then you've got one, two, three, so six little um, card slots right here. And then you've got a big pocket here too. And this is a really deep pocket. I actually really love this wallet. It's something that I've been considering switching back to because it just, I don't know, I, I love it. I love the functionality of it. And then in this back part here, you've got a ton of little like files. So as you can see, I've got grocery there. And sorry for the shadowing, I'm film, filming this at night. Family fun, pocket money, miscellaneous, and then um, these two back here are not labeled. And then um, you've got your coin pouch right here, which this is actually a, a pretty big coin pouch. So that's where you would kind of keep all your cash. And it's nice because it separates your cash completely from your cards and everything, which is really nice. It's I like it. So um, I do really like this wallet. I was hesitating on showing you guys it because I don't know if it's still available or not. Um, like I said, hopefully... They will make it available here soon, but um, that is just an alternative type of wallet that you can use. And then um, my last alternative, I will actually be showing you guys in the next Cash Envelopes video, and that is the um, alternative that I think I'm actually going to switch back to for the fall. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that uh, thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And then I will catch y'all later. Bye!